I want to talk to you today about the home repairs that you should consider making if you want to sell your home for top dollar. Some people reach out to us because they want to sell their home for cash and sometimes they realize that number seems like a lower number when they first hear it. But the truth is if you want to get top dollar for your house, I want to help you do that today. So what will you have to do? Well, first off, you have to look at your home through the eyes of the new buyer. One of the biggest challenges is that we live in our own homes and we get used to things in our home, don't we? We used to maybe a crack on the wall or a, a doorknob that's broken or a crack window or something's uneven and we get used to that over time. It just becomes normal. And we also know that, you know, the appliances maybe have some quirks with how they work or the furnace, you know, in our home we have a problem with one level doesn't heat or cool as well as the other one. And so we've gotten used to these things over time. We don't even see them as a problem. But guess who will see these things as a problem? The new homeowners. When they come into your home, they don't want to see all the things that you've gotten used to. They have their own expectations for the house. So I've made some notes to make sure that I cover this with you. First off, if you want to get top dollar, you've got to review the major items on your house. Things like your roof, your furnace, your electrical system, your structural, right? Everything in the house that is really important. Your well, your septic, uh, if you have a well, your sewer system, your sewer line. Those are all major things that can be very expensive to replace or repair to a new homeowner. So you wanna make sure those things are working. I have to tell you a story about my dad. My dad has passed and I miss him, miss him dearly, but in my home that <laughs> we grew up in, the front wall started buckling about 25 years ago. And if you look at the wall from the side, it actually does this. It's buckled pretty good. And I always remember my dad 10 years ago saying, ah, he had to know my dad. He said, yeah, he goes, ah, that'll be like that long after I'm gone. I don't care, I'm not fixing it. Well, he was right. He's not with us anymore, but that wall is still like that. <laughs> so it hasn't caved in, but I know that someday we're gonna have to, to deal with that. And that wall will be a major problem for a new buyer. It's a $10,000 repair minimum to get that fixed. So even though they got used to that, that's gonna be a problem for somebody else, right? So you have to look at your house and say, although my furnace is maybe 15 or 20 years old, you say it still works, works just fine. But somebody else may not agree with you on that. So just consider all the majors when you're going through. I'm not saying to replace the majors, I'm just saying be aware of those when you're looking at your house when you wanna to get top dollar. Two, here's a tip. Paint and caulk are your best ROI or return on investment, meaning for the amount of money and time you spend on paint and caulk and paint brushes and the time to get that done, your house will look dramatically better. So if you have walls that are like wallpaper or outdated, the color's outdated because you haven't done it in 10 years, hey, it might be time to spruce those rooms up because by sprucing it up, you'll be able to put more money in your pocket Okay, when you sell your house. You have to look at all the, and number three is safety issues. You have to look at all the safety issues in the house. Now, what do I mean by safety issues? Look for things like open electrical boxes or outdated electrical panels, right? Maybe you have fuses in the house and your argument is gonna be, hey, works just fine, I live here, and you're right. But a bank won't loan to a new homeowner on a house that has fuses or that has open problems like electrical problems. If you have any flaking paint, Many buyers that get what's called an FHA loan, a government loan, they can't even get a loan if there's flaking paint on the windows. There might be lead paint in the house, which there probably is if it was built before 1975-ish or whatever that date is in the 70s. You wanna look for, you know, there might be things like a, like a broken spring on a garage door that could come down and slam on somebody's head, right? You've gotten used to those things, but to somebody else, it's a dangerous situation. Maybe you have a chimney or a pipe that leaks into the basement. Maybe you have a chimney that goes up and your old furnace is, is you know, uh, plumbed into, or, um, um, put into the chimney, but maybe it, the around it is not covered. Maybe it hasn't been sealed. So maybe there's CO2 that's been slowly backing up into your basement and you don't even know it. But yeah, that's a dangerous thing for somebody else and a home inspector, when they have that, they'll find that and you'll have to get that repaired. So look for those things beforehand. Look at your, you know, maybe you have loose bricks on your chimney outside. Look at your chimney. If you have a chimney on your house, look up. Do you have loose bricks? You've probably never looked up there before, right? <laughs> you probably never thought about it. Those are the types of safety issues you wanna look for on your house. Just take a look around and put on your glasses, if you will, your goggles 
of a new homeowner. What will they see your house as? Not what you've gotten used to, what will they see your house as? The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is when you get ready to sell it, after you've cleaned it up, made the repairs, done some painting, remove all the clutter. Try and remove all the clutter. They actually recommend that you take pictures off the wall. I know that's painful, I don't like doing that, but if you're gonna sell the house, pack those pictures up. Let other families start to picture themselves in that home, not you and your family in that home. So by taking all that clutter down, the, the decorations and whatnot, leave some up, but don't make it so cluttered. You may have all your kids' awards on one wall. A new homeowner, as much as you love your children's accomplishments, a new homeowner doesn't care. They wanna know what their kids are gonna look like on that wall. Well, not their kids, but their kids' accomplishments are gonna be on that wall. So just remember, when you're getting your house ready for sale, to declutter it, clean it up, make it look good so you can get top dollar. Now. If you've heard all that and you say to yourself, that sounds like a ton of work. Well, it is. And if you want to go get top dollar, you're gonna, you're gonna have to do those things for yourself. If you wanna sell your house now for cash, give us a call. Because what you might find is that for you to get top dollar, the amount of money, time, effort, and all the holding costs we always talk about might actually be better if you just took our cash offer up front. At the end of the day, although sometimes it looks like a low number, when you do the actual math behind it, you might find out that ours is the best number with the least amount of headaches. So fix your house up, sell it yourself, or give us a call for a cash offer. We'd love to see if we can help you out.